Okay, so this is my Canterbury Pit camper, Miss October. And you can see that it, one of the things that tells you it's a Canterbury Pit is the very high rise of the um, pop top. So we're just going to walk around, have a look in the driver's cab, down the side. So in here we can see the typical Type 1 split screen combi layout. Uh, the only additional toys it has is a, uh, a radio which uh, still works but of course only does AM. Everything else is pretty standard. You can have like a rear three quarter view here and inside at the back here of course you've got a, a standard 1600 twin port engine actually out of a I think it's a 76 Volkswagen Beetle uh, on the back showing off the book that she features in two up down under but also the the woodwork uh, for camping and the interior you can see the um, the drawers in which one stores clothes and so on, access from in, inside the van if you want. Looking into the van a bit further you can see the table drops down between the seats to make a double bed and then in addition in the roof you have two bunks and the pop top. When the table's down you can stand upright between the two bunks or fold one bunk away so that you can get dressed and so on without having to, to crouch over at all. As we come round a bit further we can see the, the interior and uh, <coughs> the fold out, fruit, uh, fold out cooker which uh, sits in the door here. And these things are, are pretty standard for many types of camping motor caravanettes as these used to be called and then again we have the uh, front seats and finally there it is the uh, oh, Combi Miss October uh, keep an eye open for two up down under it's a good read it's got lots of photos of uh, a 13-day uh, road trip I did with my brother in Australia a few years ago. Okay, signing off.